you know, if you go back six years to 2015, film photography was in a very different state than it is now. Film was dirt cheap. If you wanted to develop your film, all the places that were developing were either on their way out or already gone. Cameras cost pennies on the dollar. You know, it, it looked like film was on its last legs, and you know, within a few years, it was going to be dead. But you know, you you come back now, in 2021, and you know, it's a completely different story. You know, f prices on cameras have you know got gone up dramatically. Prices of film have gone up dramatically, and at the same time, it's hard for different places to keep film stocked. The main demographic of people nowadays who shoot on film are, you know, my generation, Gen Z. You know, having grown up with just digital cameras, they wanted something different. It's very easy to get complacent with digital, but also to never really be satisfied with the photo, because you can take a million of them, but I feel like I was starting to get kind of complacent in how I was shooting when we would go out and do it. And so there's already an interest in the film photography and kind of feeling like you've got that history that's very tangible. And then following that up with um, just having such a finite number of shots that even your fuck ups feel special. And it also, it feels more like you've captured something. It is gratifying to help enable a medium for other people and seeing people's work in that kind of context, sort of this unedited sequence, um, really kind of opened my eyes to see what people actually care about. Um, so when people spend money taking photographs in a literal sense uh, with film, uh, you do see that kind of window into people's lives, which is interesting. I feel like that's sort of this semi-rebellion against, especially growing up with so much technology and the internet, that it is a way to sort of unplug and make photography a little bit more of a present activity. And I mean, there's something to be said about the aesthetic of something like a 35 millimeter piece of film or larger compared to, yeah, the look you get out of a smaller format, um, digital or otherwise. For me, photography and art in general, it's not about whether you're a good or bad artist. I think it's about whether or not you can really see uh, beauty for what it is. So you might see how the light hits uh, a salt shaker and go, might blow your mind, right? But it's not about making every picture count. It's about being in that moment and, and experiencing that and knowing that you saw something probably that a lot of pe other people didn't see. And it just feels a, a bit more human, I think, to use a film camera. Um, it's not going to capture perfect images a lot of time, and there are very few things in life that are perfect. I think getting into analog photography especially can really bring us back and really help us kind of see more around us than we normally do, because I think there's a lot of stuff out there that's beautiful, and uh, it just rarely gets the appreciation it wants, or it deserves, I guess I should say. Chasing beauty, it's a hell of a rush. Yeah, there's very few things that could come close to it.